Me, you know, the term better late than never, it comes as a very good context, especially for the material for this video. I recently beat the game Heavy Rain that I recently got, and as you all know, come February of next year, the game will be three years old. It's over two years old now. It's developed by Quantic Dream, the same people behind the development of Indigo Prophecy as well. They're also um, developing the next big PS3 interactive game, Beyond Two Souls, that you know stars Ellen Page. But um, I heard of this game basically because we all know that I've been doing you know PlayStation All Stars sort of. <laughs> updates and uh i was just listening to an ign podcast was talking about ethan mars for playstation all-stars battle royale and uh, i figured out about the story the story really intrigued me i got the game uh played the shit out of it and i beat it over in over a week but i'm sure you know i'll test up there's probably more difficulties and whatnot and probably some stuff that i might have missed the first time that it might i might want to try and succeed at the second time to get more achievements for or it's not really achievements but but like trophies for the PlayStation and whatnot and I'm kind of rambling on but uh, the game's great any uh, PlayStation owner I would advise you if you are one to um, to get it if you don't, already don't have it in your collection or if you haven't heard of it you know really check it out it's it really is a, I, I would say it's a classic like in terms it's like an interactive movie basically but it just it plays so well and the story is so good and it, it keeps you emotionally invested in every single character and I cannot sing its praises enough and I'm singing its praises two years after it comes out so um, you know if Beyond Two Souls is anywhere three quarters half as good as this I'll be happy with it and that story looks pretty interesting like you see I, I won't get into too much of it but the story for that game looks pretty interesting too given by uh, given the looks from its E3 trailer if you will so why am I talking about Heavy Rain why am I singing its praises you know it's a game my guy you know you're kinda two years behind the mill what does this have to do with anything other than you being a fanboy for Quantic Dream games and Heavy Rain and this that and the other because this ties into PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'm getting to. Heavy Rain needs a representative on the roster, in my opinion. So I am basically throwing in the choice of Ethan Mars for Heavy Rain. Now I know there's you play as four major characters throughout the game, but but Ethan is the main focus. I mean the backstory, well, other than who you figure out to be the villain and the main killer being that main type of story arc and whatnot in the other story. But really, you know, he goes through a traumatic event. You know, stuff happens throughout the game that to him that's just just crazy. I really. You know, it came out two years ago, so I don't really want to spoil much, you know, in case people haven't played the game, but I'm guessing you all have. But for those of you who all have played it, you know what happens to him. You know what he has to go through throughout the game. And despite the fact that you're playing as other characters, you know, the, the backstory and everything uh, kind of comes full circle and is basically all based around Ethan. And in my opinion, he is the main face of the game, despite how much he plays Norman Jade and the FBI agent. Despite how much he plays Madison Page, um, you know, the investigative journalist. And despite how much he plays Scott Shelby, the, uh, the private investigator, you know, Ethan Mars, the dad of, uh, you know, here we go, a little bit of a spoiler, but it's not really, you know, the father of the latest kidnapped victim of the origami killer you know you know it's his son he's looking to save his son you know the other three in the game are looking for clues and looking to see who's behind it all but you know they're still not their dad uh, you know his parent like what they're doing is great and contributing is always wonderful but ethan is the main character in a sense that you know it's his son it's his quest 
and he's going to do what he needs to do. Now, I, you know, as, as far as the moves that could go, I find it really interesting how throughout the entire game you kind of press certain buttons or move the analog stick at certain times and remove the whole controller, really, with its motion-sensitive abilities uh, in order to do basically every task in the game a certain way. So maybe, like, your play style could kind of focus on that. I don't know how they would incorporate it properly, but you could you could do that. You could use some of the weapons you use in the game. Like, you know, there's already people using guns, like Colonel Raddick and Nathan Drake. You know, they have guns in their move sets. You know... <laughs> Uh, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter have a version of a gun. You know, everybody's got kind of got some sort of loaded ammo weapon. You know, having Ethan use a gun wouldn't be all that or out of the ordinary. You know, there are sharp tools that he used throughout the game that he could throw at people. You know, there's this, there's that. He could even pick up his kid and, uh, like from the introduction of the game, and do like the whirly bird with him and hit people with his kid. You know, there's there's so much, um, I don't really necessarily want to say goofy, but kind of funny things you could do with him, kind of unique ways you could play out. Uh, the podcast that I listened to had probably the best level 3 super idea out of any possible character that hasn't been announced for this game. Uh, basically, uh, maybe I'll put a link in the description for the video, uh, or look. you could look under PlayStation All-Stars Dream Roster Ethan Mars. Um, the Beyond crew talk about, like, his level 3 super, which basically Ethan would have one of his infamous blackouts, you know, the screen would get all fuzzy, he'd kind of get all disoriented and then basically pass out, and then you wake up again holding the origami figure, and, uh, you look around, and that's when you realize that the camera zooms out and everybody just kind of dies instantly. I uh, that, that, that is just... A, a brilliant uh, level 3 super given how many times in the game that actually happens to Ethan and uh, it contributes a lot to the story and kind of like a, a B-plot kind of way to kind of convince you make you kind of question if he is who he really is and uh, yeah it, it, would, it would work really good for a le level 3 level 2 I don't know again it uh, it really would have to depend. Like um, as I said, you know, you could incorporate something with having to to use certain buttons or move the analog stick a certain way. Like maybe like um, you have like R one on one character, move the analog stick left on another character, and like circle another, and you press all those whoever you're close to, and you do that command, and you use some sort of weapon and kill them. You know, level one. I don't know, maybe you pick up a, you know, one of your wife's mother's uh, kitchen set plate and throw it at them or something. I don't know. Uh, it, it'd be it'd be really interesting uh, to see what they could do. Like, it's just, he's one of those characters where, like, I think Heavy Rain needs the rap. He's the main character of the game. And he's so unfighting game style character that making him a fighting game character could be extremely fun in how it'll play out in the end. Uh, I might be super crazy. I might be the only one who wants to see this come to fruition. You know, I've talked about Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, and other classic PlayStation characters enough. Tomba. I just thought I'd bring in, like, maybe a new face from the PlayStation 3 era of Sony. Because I believe this game is is just it's so good that that Quantic Dream, this is their their classic in every sense of the word. Uh, I think it needs a rep. Heavy Rain is uh, like really a must own PlayStation exclusive, and I think it needs to be represented. And uh, a stage doesn't cut it for me. Like to fight in whatever I don't, I don't even know if you ever figured out the name of the city, but just to fight in there with the rain falling, it'd be a cool visual. You know, you're playing in a heavy rain style stage, but, you know, stage isn't enough. We need Ethan Mars and PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Well, um, give me your comments, what you think in the comment section below. as a weird thing, double comment in one sentence. Uh, whether you agree or not that Ethan Mars should be in the game, if you've played heavy rain, your overall thoughts on the game. 
and just some overall general discussion of PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale or even Super Smash Bros. 4 if you have any thoughts uh, on that matter as well. So I will see you all later. Spoodbeast, out.